Good morning, my friends. Today is the 9th of July, and I'll be sharing the devotion from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young, along with the three scriptures that accompany it. Stop worrying long enough to hear my voice. I speak softly to you in the depths of your being. Your mind shuttles back and forth, hither and yon, weaving webs of anxious confusion. As my thoughts rise up within you, they become entangled in those sticky webs of worry. Thus, my voice is muffled and you hear only white noise. Ask my spirit to quiet your mind so that you can think my thoughts. This ability is an awesome benefit of being my child, patterned after my own image. Do not be deafened by the noise of the world or that of your own thinking. Instead, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Sit quietly in my presence, letting my thoughts reprogram your thinking. It's tough to do nowadays. I mean, this advice is applicable throughout time. But it seems that as we progress as a society, as a world, um, that white noise becomes louder, the voice of the world. And with technology enabling us to communicate, such as how you're watching this video. Um, we are, we have more channels that could grab our attention. So it can be tough to turn down the white noise to listen to the still small voice of the Spirit. The first scripture uh, associated with this devotion is Deuteronomy 30.20 which Moses says that thou mayest love the Lord thy God and that thou mayest obey his voice and that thou mayest cleave unto him for he is thy life in the length of thy days. It's important to realize that, that he is our life. You know, my niece, she stayed the night with me uh, last week and she asked where my wife was. But instead of saying wife, she said life. Where is your life? It made me think, my wife is my life. I focus attention on her. Now, the Lord is my life, primarily, and I focus my attention on Him. Typically, our lives are controlled or influenced by those things that we invest our time into. So, if we're gamers, avid gamers, I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just saying, if we're avid gamers and spend a lot of time gaming, our lives are influenced by those games. I would challenge you to spend more time with the Lord that your life may be influenced by Him. The next scripture is Genesis 127, and this is a big reason why we should do this. God created man in His own image, and the image of God created He Him. Male and female created He them. He created us. He loves us. And He created us in His image. The Apostle Paul tells us in Romans 12, 2, Be not conformed to the world, to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That is just as true today as it was back then. Be not transformed by the world. Now it's easier for the world to transform us because our societies are intermingled in the culture's cross over, you know, from culture to culture and the generational gap is bridged because of, you know, technology and our ability to communicate. So my challenge to you is to think about the beginning of this devotion where he says, stop worrying long enough to hear my voice. I speak softly to you in the depths of your being. He's not going to yell at you. It's not going to be a notification on your phone. He's going to speak to you in a still, small, quiet voice. And I challenge you to be aware of that. Can you hear a whisper in a loud room? Spend some time. Go outside. Quiet your mind. I love you, and I pray that the peace of the Lord be upon you and your family today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.